Coyotes last year, 24th on the power play, so they'll be working on that quite a bit before the regular season starts. Power play winding down in tight, a chance and a goal! Barrett Hayton took the feed from Keller at the goal line, spun and shot and beat Talbot for the game's first goal. Well, five on five, it was all Kings. And then the first power play for the Coyotes, and they really have taken control. Passes the movement. First thing you have to do is win a faceoff. You spread out, you go to your spots, but then very quickly, Hayton will get himself a little room. He took one big stride from the goal line below out in front. But then the quick hands, I mentioned earlier the previous save by Talbot, he was a good position, didn't have to move. As we mentioned yesterday, Rod Laver, no one has won more singles championships than Rocket Rod Laver. Yeah, two Australians, uh, Rod Laver and Margaret Court, two of the best ever. Riddick played the third period yesterday, so Todd McClellan, true to his word, Jim. Going to yeah. play everybody that came on the trip, and uh, all three goalies are going to wind up playing two periods. Yesterday, zero for four on the man advantage. Today, zero for three. Kings win the draw. Spence is out there with Fiala. Up high, Fiala feeds it right side, gets it back from Kempe to Kempe. One timer, he scores. That didn't take very long. Everyone comes in to help out. There it is right there. It's actually Kempe, the goal scorer, that keeps the puck alive off the faceoff. Fiala goes to the middle. Options right, options left. Decides I'm going the same place I went the first time. 40-plus last year for Kempe. The release and the short side, the placement as important right there because you can see Van Mulka. Bill told us the other day, maybe not playoffs, but at the same time, not counting it out. Yeah, they are trending in the right direction with all the young talent. Shot, score! Mavarara from the right point. I don't think it was tipped. Jacob Mavarara gives the Kings their first lead today. Low corner. Watch this. Low. It'll go back to high. Gavrikov backs off. And Mavarara's one-time shot. Now there's traffic there. I don't think it was touched, Nick, as you mentioned. But that moving traffic, we saw it in game one yesterday. High backswing. Yeah, goes all the way through. Almost goes seven hole right there underneath the arm of the goaltender. But you can see how Vemelka would have a tough time finding that puck. Brunstrom making sure he gets to the lane. Get your legs in front of the stick. And that's exactly what he does to block it. Jersey will get it in deep. The net empty to our left. Kempe with it. A look at the empty net. He shot and he scores. From his half of center ice, Adrian Kempe with 39.5 seconds left. On the board, sees that he has no other option. And the odds nowadays, the analytics say, take your chance. Face off to the right of Riddick and off the draw. The puck out of the zone. Two seconds, one. And that will do it.